Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Guess where I am? I am in Mexico right now. And I am getting a BBL, my second round of BBL. So <clears throat> right now I am in a hotel called Alameda Express or something in Motomoros, Mexico. I am going to Body by Doctor, Dr. Rueda to get um a mega lipo bbl and a couple of things so my surgery is tomorrow at 7 a.m i'm currently fasting just got out the shower um uh, let me show you guys the room it's not like fantastic but it'll do until tomorrow so <sighs> we got a little concoction right here but here's the bathroom area you have a mirror Two double beds my sister is sleeping on this bed and i'm sleeping on this one mm, this is pretty much it so it's nothing really spectacular but like i said it'll do so <clears throat> i'm gonna take you guys with me to the clinic tomorrow on the way there and then oh by the way i flew into harlingen and then i drove about 45 minutes from harlingen through the border to Montemoros, Mexico. I used the transportation that the Dreams Recovery House um, provided because I am staying with them after I come out of the clinic for surgery. So I do have a free stay at the clinic Doctor with Dr. Rueda on um, March 2nd. I check out March 3rd. I go to Dreams Recovery House and then after that I'm leaving. I'm not staying too long or anything. I'm literally leaving like two days later but um so i am going to take you guys with me to the recovery house hopefully my sister gets some good footage so you guys can see everything so i'll see you guys later oh inside to me Guys, this is the room that we're in. Ivy administered. Oh, well, they ain't got nothing in it, but yeah. I don't know how people watch this. I mean, I watch Married at First Sight and stuff like that, so. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to day two of surgery. I got surgery yesterday. I'm still in the clinic at Dr. Weta, Weta or Ruta. I'm still here in the clinic. My sister's over there asleep. I'm watching TV. I'm feeling great. I feel a little, I feel a little nauseous, but I feel, for most of the part, I feel very sore. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but I breastfeed a baby. So I have been taking medicine through the IV right there. 
I want to stop because I do go home within <clears throat> tomorrow actually I go home tomorrow and I don't want to have so much medicine in my system so I think I'm going to convert to ibuprofen or Tylenol um the extra strength but anyways um hold on I think my camera is dirty so yeah this is day two I feel okay um if you guys want to know what I got I got mega lipo bbl he tightened a little bit in my inner thighs I'm not sure if it you know worked or not because I had I, I did have excess skin but this is like my third gown that I'm in hopefully I don't show you guys my cootie cat but let me lift my wrist up I'm wrapped up bandaged like this and what can I say it's painful when you hold on okay um but yeah that's what I got for surgery and I'm just if you guys this is my second BBL I got one in Arizona where I'm from a while ago and today today I'm going to the dreams recovery house and we'll be staying over there in a private room for one day and then I check out and go back home tomorrow so total I would have been here for four like three and a half days because we got here last night um, at a hotel nearby called Alameda Express or something like that so but yeah it feels like I got beat up um, when the medication wears off it also feels a little burny like I kind of got like a burny feeling when I get up out the bed um sore very very sore but nothing to where it's like oh my god somebody help me no and I don't know if it's because I already got a BBL or maybe they just gave me some good medication but um yeah it's going well the staff are really nice here they do check on you multiple times they check your blood pressure about 20 times throughout the night which is good i do appreciate that um i did have some out of cost pocket um out of pocket costs that i didn't anticipate paying for they told me i, I wasn't um gonna need an ekg but at the last minute they sent me an ekg so that was 300 dollars that I had to pay for EKG and then I was missing my blood type test which was a hundred dollars so I was a little upset about that because who wants to just be paying extra money out of pocket for no reason but that's why they say bring like literally like fifteen hundred dollars extra maybe two thousand because people just be throwing prices on you but anyways Ruetta, Ruetta is very humble very nice I did bring him a gift from Arizona I bought him um a mug and a keychain and then I bought his assistant um a key no a shirt a t-shirt so he marked me down over here right over there he marked me down I showed him a wish pick he did ask for a wish pick I showed him the wish pick and we were just sitting there for about like five minutes maybe ten minutes just getting a clear understanding of what I want um, his assistant speaks a little more English than him, so she was able to translate what I wanted. He understood it as well, but she was able to translate a little bit more better. So what? the medicine, I did keep throwing up after I was eating, which was a little bit annoying um, because I can't really keep anything down. So prepare for your stomach to be a little bit upset. I wish I was able to record. I wish I was able to record more yesterday, but I got so nervous that like I recorded a little bit, but not a ton of recordings. So oh, now I just got to get past this first massage, which I'm very terrified of because I also do body contouring and lymph massages and everything. And I know how painful it can be based off of my first experience as well. So I do get that today at the recovery house. And then I'm going to pay it for an extra one, which is $40 at Dreams Recovery House. I'm going to get that done before I go to the airport. Yeah, before I go to the airport. I don't want to be just full of liquid when I go. So, And I don't know if I told you guys this, but I did fly into Harlingen. And then there's a layover in Texas for about 40 minutes. Houston, Texas. And then from Houston, Texas to Harlingen. And then our driver picked us up and drove us to Matamoros, Mexico. So, um, yeah, that's a bit for today. That's, that's a little bit of like an overview of what's been going on since yesterday and today so when i get to the dreams recovery house i'll take you guys with me to uh, show you the room and all the extras um right now since i'm so fresh out i will probably insert a before and after picture right here for you guys to see 
Um, and then I'll try to get a video of my first day out body, which I know is not going to be the most perfect because again, I am a lymphatic massage drainage person. So I do know that you're, some people hop off looking bomb. Some people don't. I'm on the heavier side, not heavier, but I'm not skinny and I'm not huge. So it's kind of like I'm in the middle. So I'll show you guys my results, but let me show you guys what I've been having to do. I forgot my little sticky thing that goes on my breast pump at home because I am breastfeeding my one year old still. Forgot it. Brought the breast pump, but forgot a little part. So I had to go have Maritzel. Shout out to Maritzel. Mar Maritzel. She um, went to Walgreens or whatever and picked me up some Tylenol. And she also picked me up a breast pump. But I'm not familiar with this breast pump. So I guess you're supposed to squeeze it, put it on your boob, and then get the milk out. It wouldn't work for me. So guess what I had to do? <laughs> My titties are long enough for me to reach them to my mouth. I had to basically suck the milk out of my own boob and spit it out in here so that my milk production won't dry out. So that's what I've been doing for the past two days. So I basically just put it in here and then throw it down a drain because I'm not going to save this for my baby. This probably got the most medication in here. So by the time I get home, um, I should only have, by the time I get home, I should only have like Tylenol. Or ibuprofen in my system which is completely safe for a baby so I'm off I have for like two three days I'm gonna put it on to the day that I live bye doctor bye dr. Rueda mm -hmm. Rueda 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 yeah mm -hmm. okay hi guys we're on our way to the recovery home Period. We're recovery home women. Home women. Ooh, that look good. <laughs> you know, that's my type of food. That's right. You probably got it from there. <laughs> We're at the pharmacy getting my medication right now and getting some snacks really quick. Okay. Let's see. What can I get? I shouldn't get no sugar, huh? I shouldn't get any sugar. Sugar? Yeah, should, can I eat sugar while I'm at the? Yes. Oh, okay. Apple? I, I can recommend you the apple juice. Apple? Okay. Want to see your Yeah. It's down there. It's mango and pineapple. Pineapple. I'll get the pineapple too. This one? Too? Yeah. And then I think I want some chips and that should be it. Yeah. I got Cheeto puffs. You see Cheeto puffs? No. Okay. Okay, bye. PJ is all excited. He's like, I can't believe you're in another country. people okay. okay guys here is the room at dreams recovery house i got a private room with a companion as you can see my bald-headed sister over there <laughs> she ain't bald headed but yeah so here's the rooms right here it has air condition a cute little mirror and a seat for the shower closet and here is the little bathroom right here they give you towels, soap, deodorant, and all of that. And it's also a seat in the shower as well. So, yeah, this is the recovery home. 
They seem nice. They're about to bring us some breakfast as well. Some fruit first. Lunch. Uh, we got snacks from the store. So My meds were $40 and I only got antibiotics because I breastfeed. So my meds weren't that expensive at all. Um, I just one right there and one right there. So. But yeah, I'm about to eat y'all. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Yeah, right. Um, here's the fruit they gave me. They're doing fruit this morning, and then she has another breakfast. Whatever. It's not morning, but they're giving fruit for breakfast. She said breakfast. So, I got fruit. Yes, she did. She just said it. And then I got some Gatorade over there, water, meds, and yeah. This is our first course. All right, guys. This is my first Thank you. This breakfast, right? Yeah, breakfast. Yes. This breakfast. I got some pineapple mm -hmm. juice. Do you need more? Do you, do you need more? No, it's okay. Here. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm about to eat this. Okay, guys. So this is lunch that I got at Dreams Recovery House. It smells good. The house smells good. It was smelling good. And then I'm eating laying down because my stomach is just too tight to get up and then it comes with this little whatever this is and then also juice as well my sissy is about to go on facetime and leave me Girl, please, go. <laughs> but yeah i'm about to eat this i'll let you guys know how it tastes So right now, guys, I'm just walking. I just took some Tylenol, so I'm about to get a massage in 30 minutes. So I thought I'd get a little walking done. I don't want to go downstairs, so. I'm burning a little. So still got some swelling, of course, but yeah. I know I look crazy guys but I just got out the shower just got my first massage and it was painful but it wasn't horrible so now she's doing my dressings right now and we watching Baddies Caribbean uh, auditions with my sissy who over there eating takis. Alright guys, I am done with my massage. And I put my faha on that I could barely fit in, but it's done. There's my booty from the side, or from the back, whatever you want to call it. I'm booty in. They going in on here. All in all, the massage was okay. 
it was just burning on my sides and on my back. Some of my incisions closed, some of them stayed open. But uh, I'm leaving tomorrow and I'm going to get a massage in the morning. So hopefully I got some more drainage coming out. But yeah, it was it was painful. I'm not even going to lie. It was very, very painful. Alright guys, this is dinner tonight. Some taquitos, some homemade taquitos. With a little salad on the side that I'm probably not going to eat. But yeah, taquitos. Dreams recovery. Okay. All right, guys, so now I'm at Harlingen Airport. Let me just tell y'all real quick, that massage this morning, oh my God, was horrible. It burned so bad. It burned, it burned, it burned, and it still burns. Like, he did a lot of aggressive lipo in my back area and on my sides because those are my problem areas. But just know it burned. Like, um, I did get assistance through the airport so when you're checking your bags you guys can do the assistance which is very very helpful and they did assistance from because there's a layover from Harlingen to Texas Houston Texas from Houston Texas to Arizona so I got assistance there as well but um let me tell you that massage was crucial like I cried so <sighs> good luck to anybody who's getting a BBL because I'm tired, I'm hungry. Like, I'm, I am sitting on my butt because I forgot my BBL pillow at home. And honestly, I did not have enough funds to just be buying a Faha and BBL. So I'm just gonna chance it on the way home. This Hope is for the best. Call for all passengers so. But, um, Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm probably not gonna vlog anymore because I'm just focused on being, you know, not in pain too much. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any more questions, just DM me on my Instagram, Micah Thomas, or on Facebook if you're from one of the groups, a surgery groups. So peace. <laughs> Thank you.